In August of 2021, Dare County received approximately $6 million to elevate 30 homes throughout Dare County from Kitty Hawk to Hatteras Village and over to Roanoke Island and Stumpy Point. Historically, Dare County has elevated over 100 homes throughout the county. Hazard Mitigation Grant Program funding is derived from funds that are generated after a presidentially declared disaster. If there's a declared disaster, the governor is able to request Hazard Mitigation Grant Program funding that would be open to apply for across the state. So the funding comes from FEMA, North Carolina requests it, and then it gets allocated across the state through a process that is put out by North Carolina Emergency Management. These homeowners submitted applications right after Hurricane Florence. At that point, we submit those applications jointly up to the state who reviews the projects to determine if they're in the flood zone and if they are feasible to be elevated. Typical home elevations take 60 days. Once the contractor selects a home to be elevated, they notify the homeowner and arrange for housing for those 60 days until they can return once a certificate of occupancy is received. While these homes are elevated above base flood elevation, FEMA requires these homeowners maintain flood insurance. Elevated homes reduce flood insurance claims because they're not damaged uh, if they're insured, so it reduces uh, flood insurance claims, helps keep rates down. For the families that are in those homes, it makes it safer. It gets them up out of the, the flood area, makes it a safer place to be. It doesn't make it a place where you should stay during a hurricane and ordered evacuation. It doesn't make it a sanctuary during a storm, but it will make it a more resilient place to, to live and return to after a storm comes. This program, it's not just for convenience or look, it's mostly about safety. Under our house, the piling shift every time we get a flood event. When we do get that notice of funding opportunity from the state that it's going to be available to us, everybody should be mindful of keeping an eye on newspaper ads, social media, information that comes out of their County Planning Office, their County Emergency Management, that there's an opportunity to apply. Once a grant becomes available, homeowners can attend a public meeting hosted by Dare County to receive and submit the application materials. It is helpful if the homeowner can bring an elevation certificate or flood insurance documents. While the grant is only available after presidentially declared disasters, Dare County does maintain a list of homeowners who have contacted us and may be eligible for future grant opportunities. If you believe you are eligible, you can contact me at barton.grover at darenc.gov. It's a process that is not quick. It's a process that is not easy, but the benefit is you get your home raised at almost no cost to you other than the inconvenience of having to be put out of the home and set aside for a bit the challenges that come with the, having your house picked up off the ground and raised above flood elevation.